What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another best class setup here in Warzone Pacific. Taking a look at an AR and none other than the Automaton. It's kind of like the M13 from Modern Warfare 2019. Low damage, fast fire rate, and little to no recoil. This gun is one you must try out if you haven't yet. And hopefully this class helps you out through Caldera. But guys, without further ado, if you guys are enjoying the videos, be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, turn on for notifications. Top right in. Here we are at the loadout itself. We have the auto or the automaton in the primary weapon slot. I'm crocking the Thompson in the secondary slot just to try it out. I do believe the MP40 is better, so go ahead and try that one out. I do have a best class setup. You check it out down below in the description. For perks, we're rocking EOD overkill and amped. Lethal got the C4, tactical got the stun grenade. Now your lethal and your tactical are gonna be a little bit different depending on if you're playing Vanguard Royale or just normal battle royale. But let's hop straight into the gunsmith. Starting things off here with the muzzle, I got the F8 stabilizer for better accuracy and better damage range. This is really gonna help out. For the cons, sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. Those two aren't really gonna make that much of a difference here since you have a lot of long open sights. So it's better to have that better accuracy and damage range. However, if you did wanna stay off the radar, I would recommend either the Mercury silencer or the MX silencer. Preferably the MX silencer over the Mercury just because it doesn't hurt your damage range. Whereas, the Mercury Silencer is going to hurt your damage range a little bit. However, you're going to have a reduced damage range with the Mercury Silencer over the MX Silencer, but you are going to have better recoil control. So it's just one you might have to play with. Let's try out the Mercury Silencer, try out the MX Silencer, see which one you like better. Moving on to the barrel here with the Anastasia Sniper Barrel, you have better bullet velocity and range and better accuracy. So our gun bloom is going to be reduced. Although I think in a previous update, they did remove gun bloom from Warzone but I could be mistaken in that. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments if that is a true statement for all weapons or if it was just some. Now for the cons, again, we're gonna be taking a hit to our hip fire accuracy, but in most cases, you're gonna be using your AR at longer ranges and you're not really gonna be firing from the hip, but just know this is gonna reduce your hip fire accuracy. For the optic, this one is 100% personal preference. I personally like the G16 2.5 times. It is the most similar to the three times scope that we've had in previous Call of Duties with Cold War and Modern Warfare. And it also improves your accuracy and recoil control. Now for the stock here, I want the Empress Broadsword for better initial firing recoil. So when you first start shooting the weapon, you're gonna have the best possible recoil, aim down sight speed and recoil recovery. But the cons, again, taking another hit to your hip fire accuracy. So I highly recommend that you do not hip fire this weapon at all. And then you're also gonna take a hit to your accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So this is gonna be better for shooting the short bursts at a time. However, if you are gonna be spraying and praying this weapon, I recommend the Anastasia Padded for better accuracy and recoil during sustained fire and it helps out with flinch resistance. So if you are getting shot back at, this is gonna help you in those situations. However, your initial firing recoil and your aiming stability are gonna take a hit with this stock. For the underbarrel, we're rocking the M1941 hand stop for better recoil control and accuracy. Again, I'm so sorry. Your hip fire accuracy is just gonna be in the toilet. Absolutely. On, like it's not even gonna be existent. It's gonna shoot all over the place. For the magazine, we're rocking the 6.5 millimeter Secura 75 round drums. This is gonna reduce your aim down sight speed, reload quickness, and movement speed, but you're gonna have the biggest magazine possible. You could run the 45 round mag if you wanted to. Just know having those 30 extra rounds really does help out. And then for the ammunition, we went with lengthen for better and the best possible bullet velocity you can get with the automaton here. Now, if you wanted to, you could go with the FMJ rounds for better bullet penetration. And then for the rear grip, I'm rocking stippled grip tape because it has zero cons and it's gonna give you the best possible recoil recovery and initial firing recoil. So if you paired the stipple grip with the Anastasia padded, this will give you that better initial firing recoil. Next up for the perk, there's a couple I would go with here, but right now I have Frenzy on because after you get a kill, your health immediately starts to regen. But it's also nice to have tight grip, which increases accuracy while continuously firing. So tight grip can also be paired with the Empress Broadsword Stark. The Empress Bot. The Empress Broadsword stock. One of the cons is accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. So those two together will help you out. And then lastly, for perk two, I'm rocking fully loaded so I can have the max ammo possible. However, if you still are leveling up your automaton, I would recommend surplus for that better kill XP. But that is overall my favorite class setup and best class setup for the automaton here in Warzone Pacific. Let me know what you guys are rocking on it down below. If you want to see another best class setup, let me know which gun you guys want to see. But if you are enjoying the videos here on the channel, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, watching them, leaving a like, commenting. It really does help out my videos. And we're almost at 2,000 subs. So thank each and every one of you. But guys, be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, turn bell for notifications. Tell your friends, tell your family, you know where to find me at iProfiteDash at all major social media. It's Twitch, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. All at iProfiteDash. Go follow me at LifeByDash, both on YouTube and Instagram for lifestyle vlog type videos. I'll see you guys next time.